Okay. All right, so um, we have a net here, and the reason we're doing a net is because this is a little bit different than the scoliosis I have on YouTube. The scoliosis I always talk about is mostly, um, or the scoliosis I've, I've talked about, have mostly been, have mostly been something like this. All right? And that's why Lori. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her scoliosis, and that scoliosis, is like that. So it's a big lumbar scan. It's a big twist to the side. How, when were those x-rays taken? August. All right, so those x-rays are taken in August. And um, L5, L4, L3, up to about L2, it pointing sideways. I mean, we're talking, you know, pelvis forward, twist my body that way, and then the rest of my body goes this way, right? So it's a little bit different. Can you take off your sweater? All right. I can take off this, but not my sweater. Um, I'm sorry. Well, you have this on underneath. No. Like, it's all one piece. Oh, okay. All right. Then come on up. <laughs> sorry. All right. That's okay. <laughs> So you caught me on a good day, and on a bad day, I'd say, well, just take it all off. No. <laughs> all right, so turn around this way, all right? So first thing, to figure out whether she's a left or a right, okay? You can't use a sit test or anything like that because she's so twisted up. So you have to do the stretch test, all right? So let's have you lay down here on your back. And that's and not true you do this? scoliosis. That's just true because she's right. screwed up down there. I'm, I'm farming? It's not true with all scoliosis, just her particular scoliosis. Uh, actually, it's, it's true with most scoliosis okay. because they're so twisted. It's like okay. <laughs> when somebody comes into you antalgic, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. When somebody comes into you antalgic, there's, there's no reason to do the sit test. The, the antalgia, you know, they're, they're leaning away from the pain. Okay. So what's going to happen is that's going to override anything else. So okay. it's useless. Got it. So that's why, you know, somebody comes in, hang on. Somebody comes in with a hot low back or something. Like, no? no? Somebody comes in with a hot low back, you know, you just start doing meninge releases on them. And people go, well, how do you know which way to go? And the answer is it doesn't matter. Because if they have a hot low back, what do you know about? See, why would they have a hot low back? Why would they have that much pain? That much pain is always a compensation pattern. Okay. It's never a breakdown because <coughs> if they were having if they were having a breakdown, they'd be in the hospital. They won't be in your office. They'd be pretty much dead. They'd be pulling on their brain stem. They'd be compressing their heart. They're they're it's out of you know the, all the things that come into your office, all right, are from overcompensating okay all right and that's where you get that pressure and everything else okay it's like after I slept on that pillow top bed I had trouble straightening out well why would I have trouble straightening out well because the vertebra is stuck in extension and if I try and go more into extension it's overcompensating all right so that's so, so the, the thing that's causing that hard pain is the compensation not the breakdown all right so you're gonna have to break down the compensation which is gonna make the person a little bit worse mechanically, but unlock their body enough so that now you can go fix them. Okay. All right, so, so you know, you need to do these minute releases, and it doesn't matter which side. You know, we, we have that special metal coin, you know, or that special metal disc. See, I, I, gave, it, I gave away the joke, right? We use this, this special metal disc, you know, with the emboss iron. Anyway, all right, so, so now when she lays down, the first thing you notice <clears throat> or your first thing you should notice is this is not just a scoliosis, it's a kyphoscoliosis. She's stuck because she goes into extension. See how her belly sticks up there? She's got her hands there. But if, if you move her hands down, she's not, when she laid down, she didn't really lay flat. All right, so look, come sit up for just a second, man. All right, and uh, stand up for just a second. All right, now sit down and lay down again. So when she sits down, when she lays down, you notice... See, this pops up a little bit. Now it's it's settled already because she laid down and she settled. But so so it's a little bit of a kyphosis, but you can't really you can't really say it's a kyphosis because her vertebrae are pointing that way. 
So they're, they're stuck that way. It's not that they're stuck forward, they're stuck that way. So it's a kyphosis in that direction. You go, well, that's not a kyphosis if it's going in that direction. Well, it is if your spine's twisted that way. All right? Okay, so we're going to figure out whether she's a left or right. Did Harry explain this? Yes. So he's going to stretch you really far to one side. You're going to stand up if you're a little fuzzy head and everything else like that. We know. Mm -hmm. All right? And then you go to the other side and it'll clear up. Okay. All right? Okay. That's it. That's if he guesses correctly. If he guesses wrong, you get it three times. <laughs> All right. Now your hand is too far down her head. You need to be at the highest part of her head, and your fingers need to be pointing toward the floor. Elbow down. Move your body over there. No, no. Harry, Harry, stand up. <laughs> Step. That's it. Now bring your head around. Now you, you don't. Why are you? Sorry, I You don't need both hands here. Button. Put your hands like this. Harry, put your hands like this. Now these fingers need to be pointing to the floor. These the fingers need to be pointing to the ceiling. Now bring her around, stretch more, and give it a shot. Good. Come on. Thank you. Hang on. Give an acknowledgement. Thank you. You let your body go lose everything else. All right. Come stand up. Now we're not going to help you get up. See, now she has trouble getting up, and when she faces us, she's a little bit off balance. Yeah. All right. And she looks a little dazed. You notice that? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's likely the wrong side. A little fuzzy? Yeah. Good. All right, on your back, go so, the other way. I can feel like a band up there. Thank you. Now, you don't want to have to depend upon what the person tells you. You want to be able to recognize what that looks like, because there's a lot of people who come in and they're always fuzzy. Mm -hmm. All right, you're going to have people who come in and you start treating them in the correct direction and say, you notice how much more clear-headed you are? And they go, yeah, is everybody else like this? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, unfortunately, no, but that's how you are supposed to be. And they're like, oh, my God. Cause, and they realize they've been fuzzy-headed for decades. All right, stretch the other way. Now, no, fingers pointing to the ceiling and the floor. And your hand needs to be well superior to the ear. Superior to the ear is this way. There you go. This hand is here. Fingers pointing up to the, there you go. Stretch that. Yeah, stretch that around. Go ahead. Let it go. Oh, there we go. Now, one thing, when you have to, when, when you say let it go, tell people breathe out through your mouth. Okay. Because when they breathe out through their nose, they don't let go. When you breathe out through your mouth, yeah. you let go. All right, come stand. Now, you can see just laying on the table, yeah, she's, 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 face she, she gets up better. And that even though she's, better. look at you. <laughs> even though she's better. a little stuck. Yeah, but see, we don't care about it. felt better. She's not fuzzy now. Yeah. All right. You look her stable. eyes brightened up and everything else. Yeah. All right. So she's a right. Posture as she came up. All right. So she's a right. Definitely right side. All right. So first thing you're going to do, because you already did these stretches, the first thing you're going to do with her, you know, um, ABC is so powerful and there's so much you can do. All right. You feel if you didn't do them in injury release, you feel like you cheated the patient. Right. But it's not true. All right. You have to go at a gradual pace because her body can't take that much anyway. So you did the stretches, so that's enough meninges today, no matter oh, what, oh, anyway. Okay. All right? Today, not for later visits, all right? <coughs> so next thing is check C7. Okay. Stand here, face that direction. Oh, take off, let's take off your shoes. Now, by the way, if we open those shoes up, if you, if you, give me the those shoes. If you feel these shoes, she's got this arch support thing in there. All right, and it's actually making her worse. So hang on, before we do that, who, there's who, nothing in there. And that mm -hmm. one there is. What's this? That's I was just given that recently to wear for part of the day. Yeah, well, it's making you worse. Okay. All right. Do you, does she have one in here? No, too? no. Just that one. All right. So stand up. It's on the right side. Hang on. Stand up. Okay. Now the, the good thing is it's on the correct side. Yeah, it's on the right. right. But you notice how you're standing there. Take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Let it out. Good. Go ahead and put your shoes on. You don't even need to zip them. You want the, the lift Yeah, maybe it is. Right. Now, here we, we, have, we have a little problem assessing this, all right? But you notice, A, she's much more crooked, all right? B, take a deep breath. Ooh. You notice you don't breathe as well? Yes. All right? No, so it's off. making her worse. <laughs> All right? So just take that thing out of your right foot and put your right shoe on. 
Uh, Who gave you that? Uh, a chiropractor. Well, it's making you worse. I, right. it, I had my hesitation with them, and I told them I'd had them, and then I had them taken away. <laughs> and yet, we love you, but we don't care. It made you worse. <laughs> right? We don't need an explanation. It made you worse. See, now take a deep breath. Wow. It's different. Much easier to breathe. Not just different, but easier to breathe. Oh, yeah. That's right? But you notice, you notice now she's more crooked than when she's flat foot? Yeah. But see, that's a compensation because she's wearing heels. And if you, if you take those shoes and look at them without that thing in them, they're very flat on the bottom. She will tell you she gets relief when she's on these shoes without that thing in her. Okay. See, you notice that? See, walk around, walk a little bit. Notice how easy it is to walk and how you move? Yeah. It's actually substantially easier than it was with that thing in there, right? Well, it is a little different. It's substantially easier if you want to put that thing in there and walk around and find out. Okay. Let's do no. that. Uh, yes, sir. No. All right, go ahead. Let's do that. Let's we can't do everything, Harry. I have a time constraint. Okay. <laughs> but we're learning, are we not? Yeah, well, but I'm That'd learning nice too. To well, well we, we love you. We love you, but you're not paying for the seminar. No. So they don't care. All right, all right, got it. See now, after the initial, oh, I feel the difference. Yeah. After after the initial couple steps, you know, she took a, a couple big steps, and then all of a sudden she was taking smaller steps, and she couldn't take bigger ones, and she was more bent and all that stuff, right? But the point is, take your shoes off, wow. and now take a little walk. Okay. Now, see bigger steps. Yeah, but those are smaller oh. steps than when she had the shoes on without the lift in. Mm -hmm. All right? And if you look at how she's standing, all right, now go ahead and put your shoes on again. With lift or without? Without. I'm not putting that lift back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh -oh. He's going to kiss hang you. On. <laughs> here's, here's a woman who can add two and two and come up with four. All right? Go. All right? Okay. See, now if she walks, now you notice you take bigger steps and you're more upright? Yes. I right? am our type. Yeah. So, so now <coughs> all she has is heels and if you, if you feel, uh, you might want to put your fingers in there and, and you can watch <laughs> them after, but if you feel that, those shoes are very flat on the inside. There's no arch support. Okay. And so those shoes help her a bunch. See, take them off again. And just hand me one shoe, if you would. And take another little walk. See, she gets up and she tries to move as fast as she was moving with these shoes. It's different. I can really feel she it. Can't she quite, she can't it. quite do it. So remember I said heels are good for you? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's there. Now she needs to she needs to go to the shoemaker and get the I noticed the that today when I put them off on <laughs> because it's tilting her heel backward and yeah. if it wasn't doing that she she'd appreciate a lot. The other thing is the if what? you feel if you feel this my heels are getting worn yeah if you thing. feel this I need to all right on the inside of your shoe yeah what happens is it comes up like this it it comes on an angle and then it goes like that. All right, so this is your heel, okay? Now, because it goes on a flat angle like that, your calcaneus tilts backward. And when your calcaneus tilts backward, did that heel bone, mm -hmm. your shoulders roll forward. Do we have um, a heel chip, Sally? Yep, I think I pulled the bag out. Is your red bag on the floor there? Yep. Yeah, okay. this one? That should be the shoe stuff. Yeah, so let me have the bag. You're right. The big bunch. Yeah. All right. So if we get some yep. heel chips. I don't know if there are any. Those are the miscellaneous ones. I think. Uh, oh, yeah, but there's a couple in here. Okay. And so these are heel chips. So your, your, your average heel lift is long and your heel chip is short because this is just <coughs> to eliminate that backward tilt there. Mm. So put these in the back of her shoes toward the heel. Mm. Go ahead and put that on, please. Yeah. 
and put the other one on. Good. Come stand. Okay. Now, see that's see see what she just did where she went like this. She went, whoa. What am I doing up here? She'll tell you she feels like she's like a half inch, an inch taller. I do right? feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now what happens is your heel bone, your calcaneus, and I've never seen anybody else talk about this, so I guess I discovered it, whatever it is. Okay. But when your heel bone tilts backward, it makes your shoulders roll forward. Uh -huh. And the interesting thing is, in, in those shoes, when you have the heel, the heel in general, lifts up your pelvis and levers your body backward. Yeah. All right, so, so this levers your body backward, and then your heels go this way, it makes your shoulders go this way. And then we put those things in there, and it pops your body up. No, the rest I, of the way. I can feel it up in here. <coughs> your voice even changes. Without, without, without me holding it. That's right, your voice even changes because you're breathing that much better. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, and take a little walk. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. Okay? Look how, it, it feels look how more smooth. Even. Exactly. Yeah, smooth was the Yeah, so, so that's what you want. You don't want anything that makes your heel tilt backward. Yeah. And you don't want arch supports because they make your legs go out like this and your body goes like this. All right, so you don't want any of that stuff. All right, good. <clears throat> so go ahead and take your shoes off. Take these out. No. Take those out. You should be saying, I ain't taking these out. You ain't getting these back, Jess. <laughs> you, might get, you might get kissed again. <laughs> you, you know what your problem is? Yeah. Your problem is you got powder in those shoes. And I know. Hang on. They're stick them on the bottom of those things to stick them in. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have to clean the powder out so the stick them doesn't stick to the powder and those things will stay in there. Well, they're not moving now. I understand. <laughs> but, but as you walk around, they might move oh. because of the way you're doing okay. so we do it. Right. So come stand up. No. Come stand up, and so Harry's going to check your C7, and we're going to do that. Stand so up, face that way. Sir. Now, <coughs> actually turn her, hang on, turn her sideways to the camera, and no, no, this is the camera over here, right? <laughs> and what I want you to do is breathe in, breathe out, relax, and let your body just slump. Yeah, hang on. Allie, you get position here. Excuse All right. me. All right, All right, so breathe in, breathe out, relax, let your body just slump. All right, so you notice how that looks, her body curves and all that stuff. All right now, the, the important thing with a scoliosis is not the sideways curve. It's always the forward-backward curve, all right, because that's what the organ compression and everything else. So take a deep breath and notice your breathing now and let it out. Now, Harry didn't ask me about this until uh, last week or the middle of this week. Yes. Had he asked me about this when I was home, I would have brought my spirometer and we check her breathing because her breathing capacity is going to increase significantly here. All right, so check her C7. Now, her whole body moves when you push on that, and that, you can't do that. So what you need to do here, what you're going to need to do with Annette is, hang on, you put the hair over here, you pull her sweater up like this, and now you can get to C7. See, now you can push on it and check. All right? Okay. Way down. Down and on the right, and she's a right. All right, so come back against the wall here. All right? And Harry loves you, so he's going to punch you twice. <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. Now, hang on, wait. Okay. You notice her face change when you started pushing here? <laughs> yeah. So you got to do the second rib. <laughs> no, no, you, you got to push with this hand, come on. There you go, now the other side. Harry, Harry, you're, 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 hang on. you're letting her whole body go. Push with this hand and go like that, All right? You notice her body didn't move? Yes. Yeah, you still let her body move. Push with this hand, fix her back with this hand, now push with the other hand. That's what you need to do. Do oh, the other side. I see. Do the other side. No. Fix this. Don't let this move. Now push with the other hand. And get off her shoulder blade. Now push. There you go. Feel how uh, her shoulder her her upper chest moved mm -hmm. separately and your hand didn't move? That's what yeah. you need to do. Good. Now back against the wall. <coughs> All right. First rib maneuver. So what happens, hang on, hang on. What happens is when this rib falls forward, you have no muscle or combination of muscles that can pull the rib back. So 
So he's going to fix that for you. He's going to push that back. Now, when that happens, mm -hmm. when that rib falls forward, the top one third of your chest collapses on the middle one third. Compresses your lungs, compresses your heart, all sorts of nasty stuff happens. Mm -hmm. And you know how they say you have to hold your posture up? Yes. Well, you don't. What you need to do is you need to get this area corrected. And you should see, you notice how your shoulders roll forward now when you let them relax? Yes. That's not going to happen in a minute after he fixes your first rib. That'd be great. All right? It's just going to go like that. Mm -hmm. Push in hard, Harry, before you hit. Push in hard. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, Harry, you, you're, you're hitting a little bit downward. You need to hit up. Upward. There you go. Good. Now do the other side. There you go. Now, see, big deep breath. Nobody does a big deep breath unless you fix something. And see, she now, she's now having a little problem because she's like, what am I doing up here? I sort of don't, I, I don't belong up here. But she's feeling her head go forward because she still has C7, but not her shoulders. See how her shoulders are back? Yeah. Now, you need to do the first rib maneuver a little bit differently, all right? You need to really, you need to push that baby into place and after it's pushed in place, then you hit it, all right? Push it in place, and then you'll hit it. Now, she'll tell you that felt like a much bigger impact. Yeah. And she, yeah. Made, she made a big face. I was making a face at Hang on, hang on, but did it hurt? Yes. When, what about where, a little? A little, yes. See, did it hurt? You know, from the, her face, you would think it hurt a lot. But it only hurt a little because when that moves back into place, that's it. See, now, now see, I can now feel she's... Air. See, now she can breathe. So you need to, you know, it's, it's not an order, you know, it's, it's not a pro forma thing where you just do this. You need to push that baby into place. Okay. All right? And the shoulders, now, did they go, they looked like they went they, back a little I, bit. They no, went I back a lot more. I don't feel like I'm holding them like I yeah, usually do. Yeah, so you're trying to. Let your body slump. See, now you're trying to push them forward. I didn't say push them forward. I said, <laughs> let, see, that's, see, I, I said let your body slump. Now her head still comes forward because she's got all five. I'm trying to slump it, but it doesn't want to. Exactly. That's now, the problem. Now, you notice, you notice her shoulders are still forward? Yes. So you need to do the first rib variation. Now, in the first rib variation, same thing. You have to really push that baby in there before you we do it. So let's see you do okay. it. But they did come back a little bit, right? No, they came back a lot. Yeah, so now we're They just didn't come back all the way. Are they oh, back all the way? No. Look. You have to understand something. Everybody else in the world is telling you the only way to get your shoulders back is to hold them back, right? I'm saying if the first rib gets corrected properly, your shoulders stay back with no effort. And everybody tells me how full of baloney I am because it's impossible because they know your body stays up by posture. And I'm saying you get this right and her shoulders will yeah. stay up. Now, if you don't get it right, I have to come back in and do it again. So, okay, get it right. Get it right. Yeah. So, what I need you to do is really lift your shoulders up and back. It's mm -hmm. like you're going to put this up to here, okay? okay? And go back. All the way. Keep them up. Keep them up. Even Hang on. More back. More back. And now, more up. More up, more back. Higher. More higher. Your hands too low. There you go. So, it's higher. Right here. Pick them up higher, Annette. Higher. Now, Harry, she's not up high enough. Look, so set, set it up. No, no, keep going. Keep going. So, put your shoulders back. Now, more back. Now, higher. Higher. Now do. They go. Now do. Higher. Good. Now do the other side. Now, hang on. Pick them up higher. Higher, Annette. There you go. Ah. See, now. <laughs> wow. See, now it looks like you didn't do anything last time. And you did a lot last time. The shoulders are way back. Yeah. See, now, now she can't even get her head forward. All right? You notice that? Yeah. All right? Let your body relax. See, she, back like <coughs> see, she's used to, when she relaxes, she's used to coming forward. So I said let your body it's relax. Doing, it's doing something different. That's right. So, so she let her body relax. Her shoulders didn't come forward. So she pushed them forward. because that's, And then when she relaxed, they went back. All right? Yeah. So this is the difference between... This is the difference between getting the first rib done and getting the first rib done partially. Okay? Wow. And you know the, the reason people bring people to me is because I don't have any excuse for not getting the job done, and so now neither should you guys. All right? Okay. okay so now go do C7. Give me cross your arms here. Mm -hmm. Now hang on. Let's let's just because we have the camera here. Arms to your side. I don't know how much the camera will pick up on her breathing, but take a really deep breath. C7. 
See, now she has two difficulties there. Number one is she went to take a deep breath and she went to use all this effort and there was no effort. And she's, she's got, she's like, that's it, I'm full. And, but now if she thinks about it, more air going in or less? Is deeper breath? It went deeper fast. It, it, that's right, it went deeper with less effort. Mm -hmm. If we had a spirometer, the FEV1, which is the, the forced ex expiratory volume in one second, uh -huh. increases hugely in somebody like that, okay? The, the entire FEV, the, the entire volume, might be more, mm -hmm. might not be, because she's got a bunch of other things going on. Yeah. Right? That, that runs about 50. 50% 50 of the people, just the first rib maneuver increases awesome. that a bunch. 50% of the people, it, it increases the FEV1, the one second, but it doesn't increase the overall FEV until you start doing the rest of the protocol. So it's, it, that runs, and by actual count, I kept statistics on this, mm -hmm. it runs about 50%. All right, let's see C7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cross your arms. Good. And remember to block that T1, the spinous bottom. Okay. Walk in a little bit, Harry. And let your head relax. No, no. What did I say you have to do, Harry? You have to... Have, have, have see, have see we need Karen Kolevsky here from Australia. Karen, be got You gotta smack that baby, Harry! <laughs> okay, not enough. All right? <laughs> Now, you did everything exactly right. Now, get, get it really tight. Come on, get it tight. Now shove hard. There you go. See, that's the only place you have to do that. Okay. Now, after you did that one, you notice, she, you see, she's taking another big, deep breath, which means you didn't correct it last time and you did correct it this time because you only take that breath when you corrected something. Yeah. See, that's now, really now take a deep breath. <laughs> It's expanding everywhere more. That that's right. It's expanding everywhere more. You can see her her breasts are coming up and out to the side, all right, because her ribs are pulling out. Yeah, I can feel the rib cage move. Nice. Now, in order to get C seven, you end up collapsing in two and three. So turn her around and do a hot, couple high rib lifts. Oh, just do that automatically. Well, no, not automatically. You, hang on, hang on, wait. <laughs> it, look at this part of her chest. Yes, it was staying do, flat. Do you see? Do you see the ribs separating? Breathe in. No. No, you see it coming up, but not the ribs separate. Right. All right, so do your high rib lifts there. Can you lift up your arms? All the way around there. Where do you want them? All the way around. Okay. Now down. Good. Now, you don't pick her up off the floor. Okay. Just, you know, range of motion. Go ahead. Lower. Now, it's not going to matter now because you haven't done the whole protocol. That's it. Good. See, now if you look, all right, take a deep breath. See that, you notice how it's a lot more air up here? Yeah. Can you feel that? See, now you can see the ribs separating up there. Moving. All right, good. All right, so now find, find the next one. Actually, <clears throat> check T2, T3. Okay, stand on. See, now you guys might be a little bored at this point, but the real payoff will be at the bottom where we do the bottom part of the scoliosis and what you have to do with that for you guys. There. T2. All right, so go ahead and do it. Back against the wall. Harry, your hands between. Ah, stick out your index, your pinky and ring finger. Oh. No, no. Yeah, right. There you go. And do it. Put you, uh, head forward. Down, head forward. Fall forward. There you go. All right, good. Now come step forward. See, now she's got what we talked about over there. Harry straightened out this part, and she will tell you she feels more forward and off balance, but she feels straighter too. All right now, for her, that also translates to a laterality. All right, so that's what we were talking about over there, where you straighten out one thing and the body ends up more forward because you didn't straighten out the lower. Because now it's here walking. <coughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna you don't even have to check. We're gonna assume she's got a long spinous area one. So get your fingers below her shoulder blade and treat that. Uh, how do I know that's positive? I mean, I I, I took care of. What did I just say? We know. We're not even gonna check. We're gonna assume she has it because there's a big flat spot there. Ah. Uh, okay. You want to check? You can, but we have a time constraint. So okay. back against back the wall. Against the wall. Q2, 
Keep that hand low. Ah, uh -uh. don't go up there. That's too hand low. low. Well, yeah, her shoulder blade's here. Let me see. Here. Ah. Oh. So you want to be there and don't let it slide up. Okay. Harry, you're, you're sliding up. Put it back down where it belongs. Leave it there. Okay. That's it. Okay. Let your body slouch from where my hand is. Fall forward Fall more. Forward. There you go. There you go. Now she'll tell you she felt some things move up here. All right, step yeah, forward. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And see now, if you look at the level of your hand, right here, part of my hand's on your breast. The level of your hand is right here, right? All right, so take a deep breath. Ribs moving at that level? Yeah. yeah, so you didn't push anything forward. All right, so now you have to go down here, and now here's, here's where the mess starts, okay? Because her spine is way out here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna turn her around. All right, so her spine's way out here. So now you have to come down here, and you, you touch it, and you check, and that's down on the left, and you touch it, and you check, and that's down on the left. You touch it, and you check, that's down on the left. You touch it, and you check, that's down on the left. You touch it, you check, that's down on the left. You touch it, you check, that's less down on the left. And then you get here, and you check, and it's down on the right. Now that's what you'd expect. It's L5. Yeah, it's, it's L5. Now that's what you'd expect from just a gross look at the films, all right? And who did I, I, th I told somebody before, this whole big curve is a, is a, um, is a compensation, all right? So, so if you look at the Judgwood scoliosis thing on YouTube, okay. I talk about how the, the bottom vertebra L5 goes in a little bit off in this direction, and the entire rest of the spine goes the other direction as a compensation. So to address this curve, to do anything to try and straighten out this curve is a huge error because you're pushing in the wrong direction, mm -hmm. right? So, so lay her down and do L5, Okay. or sit her down and do L5. Have a seat here. Now, hang on. Before we do that, let's, let's just take a look. Look straight ahead, all right? And breathe in, breathe out, relax, let your body slump. And you can see where she goes lateral, sideways. And then turn this way. And you can see she's already a bunch straighter, yeah. all right? Now, breathe in, breathe out, relax, let your body slump. And she doesn't go into that forward curve there. So as far as her scoliosis wow. goes, you're no longer worried about it compressing her heart or her lungs, or anything. All that stuff, that's out the window. See, so, so the, the, the lateral curve is not the important thing. It's the AP curve. It's the, the curve going this way, all right? So let's see you do L5 there. Okay. Have a seat here, Annette. Put your feet down there. Uh, you're going to have a seat. Yeah. Oh, seat. Yeah. Oh, okay. All the way down there, Harry. Yes. No, no. Get, get this close. Get this close. Good. Now you're going to have to push that down and turn your fist to get to the right spot. And pull her forward. That's exactly going to pull her forward. Now turn your hand in. Come on. Here you go. Now as she comes back, mm -hmm. don't let this come up. And then when this is fixed, you can then turn your hand with her back. Now you're going to fall back and yes, fall back. Now you notice how it begins to hurt you in that? Mm -hmm. All right, let me have your wrist for a second. If I put my hand here and I go like this, does that hurt your wrist? No. All right, make your wrist tight and stiff. If I put my hand here and I go like this, it starts to hurt your wrist, right? Yes. So most of what hurts in your back when he, you go backward is you locking up your back. Yeah. So if it starts to hurt, you know what we're going to do? Slap me. We're gonna no. <laughs> Th though that has happened, all right? All right. No, we're not gonna slap you. We're gonna laugh at you for making it hurt yourself because you're doing it. Right? Okay. Now your back is the bones are locked a little bit, and yeah. you'll be you'll be frustrated. Maybe no, Harry, you need to. You'll be frustrated maybe because you're gonna be loose, mm -hmm. and your your back is still gonna be locked. But that we expect. Yeah. But if you lock your muscles, it'll hurt even more. Okay. All right. So arms like this. And fall back. What does the word fall mean? Go backwards. And that means let drop with gravity. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let your body drop with gravity. Go ahead, Harry. Now turn your hand, Harry. Now turn your hand. As long as you keep it there. Good? Now go. Come on, go. Go, go, go. Now, that's all. Now, that's, you know, you're like, well, I forced her over. You say to let her relax and everything else. But that's all you're going to get with her. Because mm, everything's right. locked up, huh? Yeah, now, come stand up, please. 
Now, see, she did something that almost every patient when you get L5 does, right? She popped up and she went like this, all right? If you watch the video, she put up, catch her balance, because once you fix L5, the leverage works so much better there, the same amount of muscular effort to stand up now knocks her over, all right? Take a deep breath. See, now it's a lot faster and a lot easier, and look straight ahead. And breathe in, breathe out, relax. Now you notice she doesn't go lateral now? And See, before it was right. breathe in, breathe out, relax, and she sort of sunk in. And now she's just there. She doesn't do that. I can feel a difference too. Yeah. Now, turn face that way. And breathe in, breathe out, relax. And she's a lot straighter. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now take a little walk. Now, still restricted walking, not big steps and everything else, but she will tell you a lot easier than before, right? Yeah. And put on your shoes. She's like, all right, now we're talking here. <laughs> now we can walk. Yeah, it feels very different. All right? Yeah. Very different, moving easy. All right, so yeah. you're going to continue to get treated this way. Mm -hmm. Your body will literally unwind through. Remember I talked about how on the x-rays, you know, the, the, this is locked up? Yes. Right, so the bone goes forward. You can't pull it backward, but you do lock it up other ways. Mm -hmm. So as you get more stable, these things unlock. Mm -hmm. When it unlocks, it's going toward the injury position. Right? You know, some people say, well, why does it go back to its normal position? The answer is, that's why it's out of place, because you don't have any muscles that can pull it back into right. place. Right. So it'll unlock towards the injury position. When it unlocks enough, Harry will be able to correct it. Now, you're not going to get corrected 100% because you have some bony compressions in there, going sideways, everything else. But you're going to get so phenomenally better than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, you think this is good. This is, if we take you six months from now, Harry's going to be treating you six months from now <laughs> when you're when you're complaining, mm -hmm. all right? And you're going to be because your body's going to unwind, and when it goes forward, you feel lousy, and when it comes backward, you don't notice your body. Yeah. All right. Well, when you're going forward six months from now, and you're complaining, oh, Harry, this thing is bothering me. If we could magically take you back to exactly where you are now, where you think you feel so good, yeah, you would swear we were killing you. <laughs> all right because yeah. because okay. even when you go forward and you're feeling your body and it's all funky and everything else it will have unwound so much and your mechanics will be so much better mm -hmm. that this will feel crappy mm -hmm. all right yeah. um, you basically all right like I said you're, ne you're never going to be straight because of the bony compressions that are already there okay but and, and you're one of the few people when you get advanced biostructural correction after two, two and a half years, if everything's done correctly and you're not making yourself worse sitting, sleeping, standing, mm -hmm. you're about done. There's usually, you know, you, you come in and we check and there's like nothing to do. Yeah. All right? And, you know, you, you mess up your body, you come in, you get treated. But generally, that's about it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to fall into that category, I'm sorry to say. You're going to be using Harry on and off for the rest of your life, depending <laughs> upon where you go. And it'll be a lot easier for you to whack yourself out than it will be for the average person. Yeah. Okay? Um, but whatever restrictions you've had on your life, you're going to find out that unless your body happens to be going forward and, and you're in that a little bit of a stuck position because you're unwinding forward, mm -hmm. you're going to find out you get your life back. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's it, big. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I yeah. like being active. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. You, you're going to find out. You get all your active. You know, younger kids who have scoliosis. They come in, they're moody, this, that, and everything else, and you, know, you ask them why they're doing that, and they go, mm, they don't want to talk to you. Yeah. They get treated with ABC, and even if they're standing like you are, but they're straighter, you know, the, the, the problem is not the sideways curve, all right? Mm -hmm. This curve doesn't matter. Okay. okay everybody's looking at this curve, but I they never fix it. It's, it's this curve that matters. It's, it's going over like mm -hmm. this, affecting your breathing. So this pops up, all right? The kids, I mean, the, the you know they're on the cheerleading squad now or now they're playing football or you know whatever they're doing and you ask them well, how come you were so moody and everything else before and they look at you and they go well I hurt all the time and I couldn't breathe <laughs> and it's like so now you don't have that and no no I don't have that at all so no matter what their curve is this way 
their activity level goes up and they're they're, yeah. they're just fine mm -hmm. all right and you know depending upon bony compressions or not they may need to get treated on a regular basis yeah. more than anybody else and they may never get to the point where they don't need to get treated mm -hmm. <clears throat> but um, they, they just have a normal life after that you know they, they tell you, you can't have kids this and that you get treated with ABC even with big curves and everything they have kids and they don't you know people who get ABC don't know what labor is because they, they have sometimes they have a little trouble carrying the kid but their body's up so they don't have much mm -hmm. and then you know and they'll tell you you know when it comes time you know they, they feel a couple contractions and the kid could just come squirt now they don't have these really long labors and say even even the scoliosis people yeah all right so you're gonna have that you're gonna have a normal life you know except for the fact that you need to get treated by how can't ultimately the body self-correct a certain degree of the the it, yeah. oh it'll have. correct it'll correct a whole bunch uh -huh. but you you know you have those x-rays some of those bones they're already compressed yeah on the side so that's not going to straighten out okay okay it's it's just the bones to compress so that's not going to straighten out 100 percent Okay, you know, the theory is it'll unwind and it'll straighten everything else. Right. And more of yours will unwind. And if you, we, we have an x-ray course where I show you all the measurements and this and that and everything else. And, and for somebody who's interested in all that, um, your set of films will be really interesting because yours going, you know, it, it, mm -hmm. it's a 3D curve. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're always looking at this sideways curve. But it's, it's not a sideways curve. twist I know. all right I know. Yeah. okay you know and the most important view like I said is the side view because mm -hmm. of the way the mechanics work and so the 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 the, the theory is it's going to unwind out and be fine mm -hmm. the reality is this paper is never not going to have crinkles mm -hmm. unless we get out an iron and we can't iron out your body and make it straight okay <laughs> yeah. but otherwise that's it yeah. but rogue bone does regenerate Bone, the bone does what we have. Yeah, bone does regenerate. Right, if you look on, um, um, if you look on some of the Italian groups, um, we just had an osteopath in Italy who does ABC, who told this woman that they told her her disc was degenerated and it wasn't gonna, and he said it'll it'll regenerate if you keep getting treated. But and disc and bones are different. The bones, the bones regenerate too. Yeah. We have we have plenty of knees and things like that that it shows. But anyway, in this, this particular thing, they gave him a really hard time about it. And he kept treating the woman. The woman kept coming in, and, and, and other people were telling her, you know, he's stealing your money, this, that, and everything else. And he had an MRI. He ordered an MRI at the end of a year. Yeah. And the MRI showed the disc did regenerate. And, it's, you know, they, they said it's compressed and it'll never come. The disc did regenerate. It is bigger and everything else. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's got a whole thing in Italian there. You know, you can take these MRIs and... But the uh, bone looks very different, too. I thought the bone regenerated. The, the bone shape is different, but, but the bone shape, you have to look. You can't look at the MRI because it's a slice. Oh. For bone shape, you have to look at the x-ray. We don't have... He doesn't have x I, He may have x-rays, but I don't know what the x-rays okay. are. You'd have to look... To see the bone regeneration, you have to look at the entire thing because you don't know that the slice was exactly the same spot. Okay. You, know, you can argue that you don't know if the disc was exactly the same because the slice was different, <coughs> but he specifically says you can look at all the slices and it's bigger in all the slices. Is that the weighting, the weight, W-E-I-G-H-T? No, they're, they're, they're different. It turns out they're both T2s anyway. Oh, okay. Anyway, so that's this presentation. Thank you. All right. And we're done mm -hmm. for this. Oh.